hypocrisy together with the top executives of some of the entities reporting to her briefed the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, SCOPA, about their financial performance. And the shareholder is concerned about the financial performance of both Transnet and Prasa. Business rescue practitioners were merciless. And I suppose that what we all want to avoid is a state-owned entity ever having to go into business rescue again because the consequences for the future of that entity are, are significant. The consequences for the individuals who work there are extremely dire. Meanwhile, SAA says it had to postpone some of its plans following the collapse of the Dagats or Consortium deal that would have given it a 3 billion rent capital injection. The airline says in the long term, any capital injection would come in handy. We are engaging with banks on uh, not, not to get a loan at this point, but a loan facility as a kind of a buffer. Because while it is debt free, as you said in your opening, um, the cash reserves are, are are low and it makes us quite vulnerable should there be any shock. In another development, the committee heard that the fate of Mango Airlines, which was placed under business rescue after crumbling, depends on the business rescue practitioner. It's not for us to say whether Mango will come back um, onto the market because the, it's in the hands of the business rescue practitioner who seems to be confident that um, there is a potential buyer of mango. Transnet says it has a funding shortfall of 1.18 billion rand, adding that it has reduced the irregular and fruitless expenditure, which was just under 4 billion rand in the past, to 220 million rand in the financial year ending March this year. Lula Mama Mike, SAPC News, Parliament.